All right, very quick video here on finding the gradient of a line. This is definitely revision, so it's not going to take long at all. Now, what do I mean by the gradient of a line? Here is my line on a Cartesian plane. The gradient is how steep that is. If I increase the gradient, it's steep. If I decrease the gradient, and then if I, the gradient is negative, it goes down the other way. So, you've seen it all before. Find the gradient of a line, calculate the gradient using these intercepts. Now one formula you definitely would have learnt is m equals uh, rise over run. How far up does it go for how far across does it go? So in this particular case from that point to that point it rises 14 and it goes across 2. So the gradient there is going to be 7. Uh, next one, calculate the gradient of the line passing through the point 3, negative 6, and negative 1, 8. You'll remember your formula. M equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I'm just going to label my points here because I don't want to stuff up. I'm going to call that x1, y1. So that's my point 1. So that's why it's x1 and y1. x2, y2. Now just put them in. So y2 is 8 minus y1, which is minus 6, so 8 minus minus 6, x2 is minus 1, minus 3. All right, 8 minus minus 6 is 14, put it in your calculator. Minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4. I can simplify that. It'll be negative 7 over 2. You might simplify that as 7 over negative 2, but if it's something over a negative, then the negative can just go out the front. Okay, this one's a, it's a bit dangerous because you might get your negatives confused, that kind of thing. Practice is the key. Now there is a third thing I need to talk about with the gradient. You may have seen it before, you may have seen it but not remember it. Let's do it real quick. Find the gradient, accurate to three decimal places, of a line making an angle of 40 degrees to the positive x-axis. Alright, so what does that look like? Cartesian plane. There's a line making an angle with the positive direction of the x-axis of 40 degrees. And we want to know how steep is that line. Now the formula for that, m equals tan theta. Now the reason m equals tan theta works is because that's the same as opposite over adjacent. Right angle triangles, opposite over adjacent. We're really just doing rise over run here. So that means that m equals 10, 40. And you can type that into your calculator and get an answer. So the gradient is 0 0.839. Now, of course, if you can do a formula one way, you can do it the other way. And this is what this second question is about. Find the gradient of the line shown below. Uh, this one is m equals 10 theta. So we know the angle again, but it's not 60 degrees. Because this formula only works if the theta is in the positive direction of the x-axis. So it's not 60, you start at the positive direction, you turn until you get to the line. That's 120 degrees. So m equals 10, 120. Now that's going to give me an answer of negative root 3. You could also write that as negative 1.73. Alright, there's a flying tour of gradient, gradient done with three different formulas.